Hey guys, I had a thought the other day and I wrote it down. I'm gonna read it to you. Your ability, and in parentheses, I wrote potency or efficacy, right? The potency or efficacy or ability, your ability to manifest, so how well you can manifest, is directly linked to the strength of your belief in the self over ego. So like trusting intuition over fear, for example. So let's break this, let's break this statement down because there's something very, very important here that I'm trying to point out to you. The strength of your belief, which is consciousness, in the self over ego. So what do I mean by that? Well, your body, mind, soul is the self, the body. Well, some people would say so, but let's continue and you'll see what I'm saying. Is the mind the self? No. We think it is personality, right? Your personality, your sense of self, and that's kind of the problem with planet Earth, is everybody derives their sense of self from the personality ego. But that's not who you are. You already know that who you really are is soul. It's who you were before you came here, and it's who you're going to be when you leave. It's what you always have been, the soul, which is the self. It's consciousness. It's belief, too. Okay, so old thought patterns that come up from your mind, the mind is thought, the soul, the self is consciousness, right? So old thought patterns that come up, those are not necessarily beliefs, although people label it that. It's only a belief if you believe it. So there can be thought patterns that come up, like some limiting belief about money or getting a relationship or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Some old thought pattern comes up. You don't have to believe your own thoughts. Did you know that? Well, now you do. You don't actually have to believe your own thoughts. And why would you? Most of them aren't even yours. All the, see, I, there I almost did it. I almost called them beliefs, right? Because everybody does that. And that's fine. I'm just trying to be clear about what's going on and how this works. So I'm being careful with the labels that I use. But anyway, so those old thought patterns that you have about money or success or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, they weren't even put there by you. They were put there by your parents, your peers, you know, society at large, pop culture, television, whatever. So they're not even your thought patterns. You just keep believing them. And you call those beliefs what I believe to be true. But the consciousness, which is the soul, the self, is the believer. The thought patterns are just thought patterns. Some old, oh, yeah, I'm not good enough. Yeah, it's too hard to make money. Oh, it's too hard to manifest a good lover. Oh, I'll never be successful. Blah, 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 blah. All these old thought patterns that come up, they've been ingrained in you since you were a kid by your parents and peers in society, right? But you don't have to believe those. You don't have to believe those and you didn't even put them there. Okay, so here's the breakthrough. Your ability to manifest is directly linked to the strength of your belief, consciousness, in the self over ego. So do you believe the old thought patterns of the ego that come up, you know, they're like junk at the bottom of the swimming pool that gets knocked loose and floats up to the surface. And every once in a while that happens, you get an old thought pattern that breaks loose and it floats up or you get the repeating ones, you know, every day, oh, it's too hard to get money. Money's hard to find, money's hard to come by. Oh, getting a relationship that never happens to me, blah, 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 blah. Here comes the story, the narrative, right? So here comes a thought pattern floating up to the surface. You believe it? Or do you believe 
something else, or you just recognize, wait, that's a thought pattern. I didn't even put it there. I don't have to believe it. I don't have to believe it anymore. You don't. You believe in yourself, in consciousness, okay? That's what you are, and that's what belief is. You don't have to believe that stuff. So how conscious are you of those old thought patterns? When you increase your consciousness, that's the raw material of manifesting. Here's an analogy that you might find useful. So this is how manifesting works. So everybody knows that the soul is in control. The soul is actually responsible for everything in your life, including losing a contact lens. You know what I mean? Everything that happens in your life is created by the soul. The mind, ego, personality, it doesn't create anything. That, that just, I mean, just as a spiritual person, you should hear me say those things and you should go, yeah, that's got to be true, right? It's got to be true that the soul is what's creating everything. And it is true. The mind does not manifest shit, okay? It does not. The only thing the mind is supposed to be used for is for solving problems, and it's an amazing problem solver, the mind, okay? But it's, it, it, it's not capable of manifesting. It's the soul that's doing that. So here's my analogy. There's a driver driving a car. The driver is the soul. The car is your life situation. Now, the mind is a screaming baby in the baby seat behind you with one of those baby seats that has the fake plastic steering wheel on it so that baby can help mommy drive the car, right? And when baby turns the steering wheel this way, does the car go that way? No, mommy turns the real steering wheel that way and the car goes that way. And it just pisses the kid off. I wanted the car to go this way, it wouldn't go that way. <laughs> why, why, why? Right, and that's the same as when your ego gets pissed about, you know, whatever, like something that happened in your life situation that it doesn't like, right? It gets, it gets pissed about that because it didn't go the way the ego thought it should. Now, why is that? It's because the soul is driving and the soul only wants you to wake up. It doesn't give a fuck about anything that you want or think you need. Nothing. Relationships, money, success, it, it doesn't give a shit, okay? All it wants is for you to wake up. Now, if you wake up, the irony is you can manifest any of those things, okay? So you just got to let the soul do the driving. And here's the thing about your mind. No matter how much you think things through and try to figure out how to manifest stuff, it's never going to work, guys. It's never going to work. Okay, the mind already isn't in control. The mind has a fake fucking plastic steering wheel. It's already not in control. Okay, the soul is, and that is the true self. So consciousness is that which causes manifestation. Now, what you can do is like plant seeds in your ego to change the thought patterns that come up for you, okay? You can reprogram the ego. And then that way, these new thought patterns come up. And when the new desirable thought pattern comes up, you focus on it and you believe it. You believe that it is true, okay? You are the believer, the soul. That's the real self. That's who you really are. Okay, it's consciousness and it focuses on that new thought pattern. But just because something came up in your mind does not mean it is a belief. You have to believe it. It's just a thought pattern. Okay, so if an old thought pattern comes up, which is a limiting thought pattern, like I'm not good enough, I'll never be successful, whatever, you just, oh, I don't have to believe that. And you don't. You don't. Now, the more conscious you are, the more that you ascend spiritually, you embrace Zen, you embrace consciousness as your primary mode, the easier it is for you to do those things. So 
there you go, guys. There's a nugget of wisdom. I hope, uh, I hope this made sense to you. It's not really that you need to change your thoughts. You can do that. And changing your thought patterns can assist you. Okay. But here's the thing. The you is what matters. Okay. You're not your mind. You are not your mind. You are the conscious presence. So changing your thought patterns is great, but you're only doing that so you have something to believe in, okay? And you can either believe in a thought pattern or not believe in it. So choose wisely, okay? Choose wisely which ones you're going to believe and create new thought patterns that serve you so that you can believe in those things. And when you believe in those things, that's when they show up in your reality. Capiche? Have a great Thursday. I'll see you later. Bye.